Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandyland Plans. Welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to plan out my September dashboard with you. These are designed to go in the page that's at the beginning of the month in your Hovenichi Cousin Daily. So it is currently the 31st. I am filming. I'm going to be laying it down here. This was the freebie in the MLP box this month, as well as this fun clear little deco sheet. So I'm going to be using this. We always include some fun little goodies in the box and I like to be able to mix it up. And so occasionally I include a dashboard kit. So I wanted to go ahead and film this. These dashboards are designed the same as the dashboards that we carry in our Etsy store. And they're a little bit tricky to lay down because there's not a grid on this page. You can kind of see through the grid on the previous page a little bit. And so if you use that, it will help you a little bit. I like to turn my planner upside down because I can see better. And then I kind of just build it backwards, kind of upside down. So I'm going to leave one grid space. If I look really closely, I can see where those grids are for this side. So one grid gap and then trying to keep it straight along this side and then i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to do this box upside down and then i might flip my planner the other way so it's a really exciting time of year like i said i'm filming this on the 31st so that means that the hobonichi 2023 release is tonight at 9 p.m. my time. By the time this goes live, they will already be available, so you can head over to Hobonichi to order yours or get it from a different retailer if you would like, or of course you can wait if you haven't decided on what planner you want yet. 2023 is still a ways away, so no rush there. And then this bottom box, I just try and center and you can tell that it's not perfectly straight. There's some interesting gaps here and there, but really for this page, I just like to have a spot for my monthly stuff. So first thing I'm gonna do is put my September script. This was also included in the MLP box. I never know which month you're gonna use this for, and so I don't want to write September on it if you're not planning on using it for September. The boxes go out at the end of August, and if you don't get your September stuff in time to set up your September, then you could use it obviously for a different month as well. So I never wanna put you in a box there. And then you have some cute scripts if you wanna save on to those for next month as well. I like to have a spot for memories at the bottom here. And I will flip back and show you my August all filled out as well, see what that looks like. Then I like to have the big spot for work. Then I usually have a school spot I do teach. And then maybe I'll have like a this month as well. So my boxes kind of change on my needs for the month, whatever it may be. And then I also like to go in with these dots here to make a pretty little checklist. And I don't always lay them perfectly down straight or centered or anything. And that's okay with me. Like I said, this page, it's mainly just a spot to get all my thoughts down. I try not to be too particular about the alignment and everything. And now that we have our handy tabs, I can flip back to this page a lot easier than previously. So I'm excited about that. And if you are interested in picking up some dashboards, we have them available. Here is the August. And so here's what it looked like. I had a work projects in school and then memories. So I really like filling out these monthly dashboard pages. It's a lot of fun. The other thing I wanted to do real quickly is lay down some of this fun clear deco that was also included in this month's box. I think I'm gonna put this here and then maybe this one down at the bottom. I think it's fun to add deco to kind of just add a little extra special touch here and there. It's kind of hard to see some of it on camera, but it is showing up in my planner. You can see it a little easier. 
All right, so I think that's all that I'll add. And then I will just fill out my things as needed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Thank you.